So how's it going guys and welcome back to another video and today I thought I'd go ahead and compile some of the best and most efficient ways to make money in GTA 5 completely legit of course in preparation for that upcoming lowrider dlc update and this is more of an updated version of a video i did make previously and uh, a couple of more things have been added to that you know into the routine of doing things and i've always said with making money it's not so much about knowing the methods i mean a lot of you guys out there may know the methods but it's more about how you practice them into a routine uh, uh, you know to maximize that efficiency it is more of where you know the making money side of things come from so you know knowing what to do when there's a cooldown on something you know knowing what to do when you've done this you know where do you move on to that kind of stuff is uh, what i always say is kind of like the best thing to do uh, in terms of making money so once again this is going to be like a complete guide there's going to be quite a few you know simple methods in there that i throw in just to fit into a routine uh, same thing with some of the more you know advanced methods but as always i hope you all do go on to enjoy now this is kind of split into two things we have you know some of the big way bigger ways of making money which i'll talk about in the video and uh, we have some of the smaller ways but they do make you money but more of on a lengthy basis so we have things like the time trials as many of you may know by now uh, that have just been integrated into the game that's a weekly thing every monday they come along with a new time trial and uh, it's probably like the quickest fifty thousand dollars you will ever make in gta 5 and although it's only weekly it's just a good thing to know um, i'll have a link down in the description down below to a time trial playlist that i'm currently working on every week and uh, you can see how to complete these time trials in the quickest times and then uh, you know once again it's just a quick way of making fifty thousand dollars every week and it's a good thing just to fit into that routine of yours uh, which once again we will talk about later on in the video now a couple of more small things of course you have you know the daily objectives uh, which are always worth completing you know those three little small tasks that you have to do in gta 5 Every time you complete all of those, you get $25,000 per day. You do them every single day, you get an additional $100,000 at the end of the week. And then if you do that every day for a month, you get an additional $500,000 for completing them, you know, for the whole month. So I always say that, you know, if you're messing around in free mode, if you're a daily GT5 player, just complete those, you know, you get that additional money. It's always helpful. And I definitely one of those little small things again that you can fit into that routine. Now... Some of the bigger and better things are things like heist farming, for instance, and snipers versus stunters, but more specifically focusing on the heist farming, and I'm talking about the Fleeker Bank heist. Yes, that very first heist mission, and uh, the reason why I say this is better to farm with you and a friend is because it's very quick, it's very easy, and it's very, very hard to fail even on the hardest difficulty and it will literally take you around 25 to 30 minutes at maximum uh, if you're very good with time efficiency and getting things done very quickly you could probably knock this off in like 20 to 25 minutes and you get $75,000 for completing that on the first run and how you actually farm this is basically you would go ahead and host it up first uh, with you and a friend and then once you completed it got your $75,000 You'll then be on a 45 minute cooldown in which you'll have your friend go ahead and host it up this time and that way you can then go ahead and do it again, get an additional $75,000 making that a quick $150,000 uh, for doing it twice. And then once your friend's done it, you'll probably have around 20 to 15 minutes spare uh, before your uh, timer calls down again, and then you can do it again on your host. Um, and in that time is where I'd go back to free mode and start doing other things, once again, fitting in to that routine. So you have things like snipers versus stunters, uh, which is one of the best ways of making money. It's actually a game mode that you can play on all of the consoles, which by the way, I'll have links to them down in the description down below. And um, if you don't know by now, snipers versus stunters you have like rpgs versus stunters you have like uh snipers versus planes and just various other kind of snipers versus i guess you could say and they all make you a crap ton of money while having fun like the time will fly by you know as you always say you know time flies when you're having fun and uh, that's kind of the situation for this you know this is a really fun game mode to play uh can net you anywhere between the fifty thousand to seventy thousand dollar mark i've seen some people gain a hundred thousand dollars from this uh which is absolutely crazy i think it depends on the amount of rounds played so if there's a lot more rounds played and i guess it goes on for longer i think the more money you will actually end up making but you can typically make around fifty thousand dollars you know playing this just having some fun and having a blast chilling out uh while making that extra money on the side and I'm presuming a lot of you guys have already had invites to this and I, once again as always i suggest that if you don't have uh, have anybody to do this with or any of these things with uh, always leave your xbox and your psn ids down in the comment section down below and help each other out uh, to grind for that money for that upcoming lowrider dlc update and all of this plays into effect you know we have things like uh going back to free mode now you know selling vehicles knowing what vehicles to sell knowing what vehicles you know sell for the most and one of the best vehicles that i like to find when you know selling vehicles is um you know this 
Sentinel XS. This is a, uh, a vehicle that has a set spawn location and time, uh, typically spawning around the 10 p.m. mark at this location. And the reason why this vehicle is good is it's fully customized, or not fully customized, should I say. It's highly customized and it has a set spawn location, which means that you can always come here and obtain this vehicle. And of course, if it, you know if it doesn't spawn in the first time, uh, you can simply drive around the block, come back and see if it spawns in the second time, and you should be able to obtain this and sell it for upwards of $17,000, which is pretty good considering it's a street vehicle that you've just quickly picked up and sold to the Los Santos Customs. And here is where the whole cycle and routine of things come into play. It's always about the routine. So, you know, specifically, I personally would probably start off in free mode with friends. I'd go ahead and sell a vehicle to the Los Santos Customs. You know, while that's waiting on a timer, I'd go ahead and do the daily objectives, have some fun, just do general free mode things, maybe complete the time trial for that week as well. Once again, getting you that $50,000. Uh, once I've done all that free mode stuff, I'd go ahead and go into the Fleek Bank Heist mission with one friend, which is also another good perk about the Fleeker Bank Heist is you don't need four friends to do it, you only need really two, uh, which is also a cool thing about it. Uh, but you know, I'd go into there, you know, quickly get that $150,000, completing it twice. While I'm waiting for that 15, 20 minutes extra uh, for, you know, for the cooldown to happen for those, I'd maybe go back into free mode or go into a snipers versus stunters match. Uh, complete that a couple of times, get, you know, a couple of 50,000 to 70,000 upwards to 100,000. Uh, from those and then fit that into the routine perfectly, you know, come back to free mode for a bit Maybe do you know a bit more stuff in free mode uh, once again go back to the heist missions while they're you know now cooled down uh, When they're on a cool down again go back into snipers versus stunters It's all about that routine It's all about maximizing that efficiency and that's kind of the ways uh, that you will make money fast in GTA 5 So let me know your routine I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys out there will have a routine of making money or a routine of the way you do things You also have small things as well like rooftop rumble which you can always grind out which I don't know eventually does get very boring though which is why I always like to mix things up a bit when making money just to make sure that you don't get bored and that's also another basis I tried pointing out in this video is just have fun while you're doing it and uh, hopefully you know that'll make it you know better in the long run uh, for you guys so that pretty much wraps it up for this video today if you guys did enjoy did find this helpful be sure to drop a like guys if you are an active subscriber as well uh, your support of course is always greatly appreciated and for those of you out there who really do need money I'm also hosting a giveaway on the channel right now for two whale shark cards which is 3.5 million dollars in game which means two winners if you do want to enter that there will be a link down in the description down below and several ways that you can enter that but anyway once again hope you all enjoyed subscribe if you guys are new and i'll catch you guys later today with a brand new video peace out